there is not a single primate fossil known from most of Earth's history, the Precambrian, the Paleozoic, or the Mesozoic. The first fossils which start to appear primate-like are those of the plesiodapiforms. These first appear in the Paleocene epoch, immediately after the end Cretaceous extinction. And there is a single tooth from the late Cretaceous which may be linked to one of these plesiodapiforms. And so primates diverge from their closest mammalian relatives, the tree shrews and the flying lemurs, either just before or just after the end Cretaceous extinction. The spread of flowering plants probably contributed to the dispersal of these small arboreal mammals which could feed on fruit. During the first 10 million years of the Cenozoic era, these plesiodapiforms spread throughout the world and certainly throughout the northern continents. More than 100 species are known as they spread throughout Europe, Asia, and even North America. The world was warmer and wetter at that time, and tropical and subtropical forests existed in sites like North America, uh, where today it is cooler and drier. So before there is a single fossil primate, there are abundant fossils of these plesiodapiforms, which have some primate features, such as a grasping foot and modifications of uh, the petrosal bone of the skull and others, but lack other features of the primate, such as a post-orbital bar, they have a longer snout, etc. And so therefore, this group either represents the first primates, the ancestors of primates, or the cousins of the ancestors of primates. And they were abundant during the Paleocene epoch, short, right after the dinosaurs became extinct, and they were extinct by the early Eocene. The smallest may have weighed 30 to 40 grams, while the largest may have weighed 500 grams.